I am dying to find out what's in this box. This is, uh, glass, apparently. I was cut away from you. I like big boxes. What she said. <laughs> Look at this, mate. A box within a box. Maximum wrapping, please. What the? Oh, mate, that, they are nice bubbles. Oh, by the way, I, I saw a, um, a comment today earlier saying, Ben, it's been happening more and more recently that you're not uploading. Uh, um, I hope everything's okay. We miss what, coming home and watching your videos. I'm like, mate, I haven't missed a beat. Upload four or five days a week. So please, if you haven't got a notification bell on, mate, push it because you lot are missing out on videos. Dear Ben, I'm a digital artist from New York City, baby. Please accept this gift from my collection as a thank you for all you do. It's called The Conduit. Keep rambling it. John C Colin. Mines dot I dot collection. Okay? Somebody said actually that um, a good idea would be to do a whole video of unboxing. I might do that. I might collect a few. Like, so if you want me to open up the gift in front, uh, in front of the camera, send it to me and I'll, I'll, I'll do a whole video on it. Mate, look at you, digital artist, huh? Look at you, digital artist. Hang on, I'm going to show you in a minute. Ooh. Look at that. Uh, uh, Eight, hey, maximum digital artist, please. It's like quite, it's spiritual, yet alienish, mate. I like that. Oh, and it's also a little bit freaky deaky. Hmm, I love the colours, and the frame is epic, mate. Maximum thickness is what she said. John, you bloody legend, mate. Look at you. Mate, thank you so much. My missus is going to love that too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? After the epic feedback. And not, I'm not talking feedback. I'm talking about feedback from you. How much you liked Paranormal Quest. We're going to go back to their channel, mate, because they are epic. I thoroughly... Thoroughly enjoy the last reaction, okay? So make sure you go over to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing, all right? Like I say, the channel is called Paranormal Quest because they're on a quest for the paranormal. And this one is called Ohio's Most Haunted House. It's the Anchorage Villa. Right, okay. Without further ado, die daily day. Let's do this. <laughs> go on, Paranormal Quest. This house wasn't meant to be a nursing home. The building just seemed like it was overrun with patients. And they believe that left behind spirits and energy that people still encounter to this day. I'll never forget when we listened back to that and heard it, I was like, what in the hell is that? Yeah. In between my sentence, every single person in the group right in front of me heard a man go, <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. Do you like Dave? Yes. I like Dave. He's fucking lovely, he is. <laughs> Wait. I hear a very clear Just rubbing his belly button. I like Dave. <laughs> voice there. Which room is your favorite? Bedroom. <laughs> That was Dave. Whoa. Right back in that doorway, dude. Oh. 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 Christ. Dave? Someone wait for Dave's ass. Can you go? You all right, Dave? Hit the button. And yeah, and, and please, on me as well. Hit my button. Ohio, Moretta. Ohio, USA, baby. Come on. Otherwise known as United States of America. 
I do like these this channel, mate. I do All like right, it. Ryan. Here we are. We're back in Marietta, Ohio, at one of our favorite locations. Man, it is good to be back here at the Anchorage, where pretty much our paranormal quest began. We investigated here as probably our third or fourth location back in 2011 when we started the wow. show, and. I can say that this place is still, to this day, one of the most haunted places we've ever been. Oh yeah, absolutely. We have caught all kinds of incredible footage in this place over the- I tell you what, Dave's got some gear, hasn't he? <laughs> the 4K in the fucking name! <laughs> Years, and I'm excited to be back. It's like a homecoming almost, because this place really does feel like home. But there is a very creepy, and ominous energy inside this mansion because not only was it an Italian villa that was plagued with tragedy for the family who built it, but eventually it became a nursing home that was so overcrowded and so packed full of patients that they really couldn't take care of those that were here. And that eventually led to its end and they believe that left behind mm. spirits and energy that people still encounter to this day. Yeah, it is, it's just an incredible, incredible location, and I'm ready to get back inside. I'm ready too. You're ready to walk in, meet up with our good friend Viva, and have, Viva Las Vegas. have her tell us all about the history and hauntings of the Anchorage Mansion. Let's do it. Let's head inside. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Good intro, guys. Douglas Putnam. He was a very prominent figure here in Marietta. Douglas and Eliza were madly in love with each other. Um, of course, the house that they were Beautiful. living in during that current time frame was not really fitting of the stature that they had here in town. Eliza ended up going to New England and seeing all the beautiful Italian at homes mm. that they had up there. Douglas being the very doting and very wonderful husband that he is. Check out that hair and sideburns, mate. I might rock that decided that he was going to build Eliza her dream home. It took about 10 years for this house to be built and it was finally completed in 1859. Sadly, Eliza was only able to enjoy the house for three years before she passed away here due to heart failure. Oh. Him being the prominent figure here in town, he did end up remarrying a lovely woman named Sarah. They lived here for several years until he eventually did pass away here as well but Sarah ended up actually selling the house at a loss. So I would imagine that Eliza and Douglas would be rolling over in their graves if they had heard that number that she got offered for this house, this big, beautiful mansion. Well, she didn't give a fuck, did she? She got a house for free and she just sold it for anything. So it's like, yeah, I'll have it. It's kind of had different owners over the years, several different owners until it eventually landed with Eddie McTaggart, who was an oil and gas man here in the area. How do you know I got gas? He owned the house from the <laughs> 1910s to when he eventually did pass away in the 1950s. After he passed away, the house was given to a church here in the local area, and it was turned into a nursing home, and it was known as the... It was Anchor given! It was given, so not only did it get a maximum discount, and then later on, it just got given away. Wow, man! Christian nursing home. Hmm... Oh man, here we are, back in the Anchorage. We're back. It is good to be back. It is, it's been a while since we've been in here to, to film something, so. All over this house, there are stories and claims of paranormal activity, but this area is especially important to us because this is where, when we were here in 2011, we had some very interesting pieces of evidence. Fucking hell, mate. Looks different there, doesn't he? Captured right here in this area. His uh, hair's got lighter too. These were the parlors. You had the parlors on either side, the dining room over here. This was the music room over here. So there's a lot of history with that. And when the Putnams died here or anyone that lived here died in the house, their funeral would have been held in the parlor. So there's that morning oh. energy here as well. But you can see, can't you? You can see everybody just like that in the corner. <laughs> he was such a good man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So we had a digital audio recorder set right here, and we decided to leave it here as we were upstairs. 
Now, while that recorder was sitting there with no one on this first level at all, the first strange thing that it captured was a voice that sounded like it was telling us to get out. Oh, mate, that definitely was a get out. It's like, get out! Get out! I get my gun! Martha, come on! Yeah, that was a very strange voice. I remember that vividly. And we obviously know that we did. there were no children in here with us as we were filming. And we were the only ones in the building. That amongst many, many other things that we heard in here during what I guess was an initial abandonment way back when. Yeah. Yeah, at least on this floor. But the next thing that we caught was even stranger. Because on that first investigation here, we were let in by a gentleman named Tom Moore. And Tom Moore told us that sometimes they'll hear the sound of squeaky wheels, almost like on a gurney. And mm. we actually captured that on the audio recorder when it was on this first floor with no one else in the building but us, and we were upstairs. He's, he's, got, he's got a wood drill bit. He's got a wooden drill bit on his arm, look. And it... Maybe a carpenter. Sounds chilling. Oh. Oh, mate. The next thing that happened was even more strange because they didn't have this antique furniture like they do now back then. The only thing in the music room were metal folding chairs. Mm -hmm. And shortly after the squeaky gurney wheels, we captured on that audio recorder what sounds like someone pulling that metal folding chair, one of those metal folding chairs, across the floor. Oh, man. And if we thought- Mate, this is what I'm saying, man. This channel's fucking brilliant. They get maximum things going on here. That was strange. The next thing that was captured was even weirder because- Really? The audio recorder shortly after that picked up what sounded like someone was on this floor taking heavy dishes and throwing them into a metal sink. I, I don't know whether that sounds like what you just described there, but it's, de it's definitely a noise of some sort, but cut cutlery and plates and stuff in a metal sink, I don't think so. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'll never forget when we listened back to that and heard it, I was like, what in the hell is that? And I think that was honestly one of the first moments on Paranormal Quest where we were truly shocked and surprised by our findings and recordings that we got. And I mean, that alone is proof of residual energy. And I'm sure when there were nursing home patients here, when there were people that lived here, when they had to prepare lots of food for all the patients, these were the types of sounds that you would hear in day-to-day -day life inside mm. the Anchorage nursing home. Yeah. So there is some sort of energy in this building that replays itself. The trick is you have to be in the right place at the, at right, the right time, time to be able to either witness it or capture it. And I think we did that night. Mm. It was very hard for the nursing home to function as the times were changing and as the state regulations were changing. It was a nursing home from 1963 to 1986. This house wasn't meant to be a nursing home. It wasn't made to have multiple people sleeping in a room um, for shower facilities. Christ, she likes her paranormal, doesn't she? Look at these here. <laughs> for mentally ill patients. It, it just wasn't meant for that. Mm. The building just seemed like it was overrun with patients, overrun with a really foul odor, oh. um, very dark and menacing feeling. Um, a lot of people were afraid of this building. I, I would have rambled the shit out of it, mate. It was definitely not made to have patients in it at all. Mmm. Hey. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can feel it up here. You can feel the energy. I've Look at the paintwork, mate. Maximum. I mean, like this, the, the scenery of this stuff, like you could literally get a film crew in there, right? And make a blockbuster Hollywood bloody horror movie out of this just this you wouldn't have to do anything be epic color grade it bang always felt that way 
Both times that we've filmed and investigated at the Anchorage in the past, I will say the second floor feels much different than the first. And that makes sense. This is where the patients would have been housed when this was a nursing home. There would have been multiple patients in each room. And if, at times, you could have had many beds just all over the place. So I think that not only do you have the energy from the history of the Putnam family and Eddie McTaggart and the Knox family and everyone else that passed away here that owned this house, but you have the energy of these nursing home patients that passed away here or felt some strange connection to this place. Yeah, I remember the last... I was just going to say the music stopped now. We're going to hear shit. Did y'all hear that? Wait, wait. So, sorry, that was my mobile phone telling me to drink more water. I heard like humming. Like, <laughs> did you? Yeah. Do you think it could be Eliza? I don't know. It came back from like back from this area. Huh have to that's like i know that that's so weird because like the last couple of walkthroughs that we've done we've heard stuff he's freaking out mate on the walkthroughs i don't know that that was weird I have to listen back to that but but it makes sense i mean if those people lived in this house and loved it so much i mean probably the person who loved it the most i would say is eliza putnam this was her dream to live in a house like this and to have that ripped away from her so quickly with heart troubles mm. and her passing away in this house. I would imagine that she would never want to leave this place, no matter what. No, you wouldn't, would you? It's the a beautiful place. The most common place. thing that people experience are shadow figures. Shadow bastards, love, get it right. They hear voices constantly, whether it be someone having their name being called oh. or just hearing a conversation. I think that's the worst. When you hear your name being called, right? Ben. 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 <laughs> Mate, that would be absolutely freaky deaky. Like, that's you. Like, I know you. I know your name. Who I am. Going on when there's nobody in a room. Footsteps, things moving, doors slamming. The servants' quarters is typically a place where I never suggest people go by themselves. Um, we have a spirit back there. A lot of people have started calling him Casanova because he typically gravitates a lot more towards women than anything. People have had their butts grabbed, whispered in their ear, their hands have been held, their clothes have been pulled on. Typically, whenever men go back there to investigate, they tend to feel uncomfortable, very nervous, very anxious, um, completely unwelcome until eventually their asses are slapped and they're like, ha ha boys. <laughs> they just feel like they have to leave. I always forget how like confined this area is back here. Like even the stairwell, like you said, coming down through there's just so tiny and I don't know, closed off and sectioned off from the rest of the house. It just doesn't, I don't know how to put it. Just like you're separated from everything else and like the walls are just kind of, everything's more narrow and mm, closed. Claustrophobic, and mate. As wide open and as extravagant as the rest. And it's just, I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, it really, it makes you feel like you're not even in the same house that you, are in a different place, but you're right, that claustrophobic feeling that you get when you're in here is not just confining in forms of physical space, but to me, I've always felt in these servant quarters that there is a very strong and heavy energy back here. Mm, right. During the flashlight tour, it was me, about 20 people, and my sister and my niece were actually accompanying me during this particular tour. And we went to the servants' quarters and I was just kind of going through my spiel of telling the spooky stories. And mm -hmm. in between my sentence, we actually heard everybody in the group, not just me, every single person in the group, right in front of me heard a man go, <laughs> and it resonated. I mean, maximum, do it, that's a pie trick. If she can do that, mate. That was no sound effects. That's maximum pie trick. Through the entire hallway. Everybody started screaming. My niece grabbed me 
it it terrified her. Every person in the group was terrified. And all of a sudden, smack dab in the middle of summertime, it got ice cold up in that hallway. Oh. A lot of people collect activity in here and they believe it's from this domineering male presence that hangs out here in the servant quarters. So sir, if you are the one that they call Casanova, and you like to grab people and touch people and... Could you grab me, please? <laughs> make people feel uncomfortable in here. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to learn about you. My name is Ryan and this is Dave and we traveled here tonight to learn your story. And we'd love it if you'd come out and talk to us. Um, we have two little girl spirits here in the house, uh, Henrietta and Clara Bell. Henrietta, we don't know when she came to be or where she came from. <laughs> now they say there's two, Henrietta and Clara Bell, but Henrietta is the most outspoken and the most vocal. And hopefully Henrietta will come out and speak to us tonight because she has proven in the past that she is not shy. Clara Bell hey. was actually a patient here at the house. Um, they didn't house children, but she was in her mid to late 40s when she was a patient here. She had the mental capacity of a child, so she genuinely thought that she was a kid in this big house that was in oh, nursing God, home. Mate. And this, this house is absolutely mental. Ever since she passed away, a lot of people have claimed to have seen not only Henrietta here in the house, but also Clara Bell. A lot of people have questioned that, like, why was she an old woman and then all of a sudden she came back as a child. I think if that was your- What she was comfortable with, you know? Her headspace and that's where you felt more comfortable and more safe, then maybe that's something you're able to revert back to after you've passed on. So you're gonna wanna go back to a place where you felt the most at home. Yes. It's As interesting because to me, there are multiple places that we've investigated that keep drawing us back. And I feel like the Anchorage is one of those places. The activity, the energy, the history is something that you have to experience for yourself. And it does, it sucks you in. You feel connected to this place. And I can say I've always felt connected to the Anchorage. So I'm excited mm. to get started with this investigation. Let's go. Go full night vision and to see yeah. what happens. Full on Rambo, we mate. spend the night once again inside the Anchorage Mansion. Are you ready, Dave? I am ready. Let's get abandonment set up, get yeah. batteries put in Come stuff, out. get everything placed where we want it, and get the night started. So we are officially all set up. We have the Anchorage Mansion wired with cameras. And we're going to leave for an hour to see what happens and what paranormal activity occurs when this beautiful building is completely empty. Right now here on the first level, we have a camera set up in this main foyer area. Over here to the right is the parlor, music room, dining room, and then straight back leads to the stairs. This area is where we captured all of those strange sounds on our first Ooh, investigation good, 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 I will say that I'm excited to see what this picks up. Oh yeah, me too. We have a brand new proximity meter right here on the couch behind me. And hopefully if anything gets close to that, it will alarm. Okay, it's working. And we'll know about it. Up on the second floor, we have a camera set up in the- <laughs> I it didn't work. Did you bring the spare pair of batteries? I like I told you to. <laughs> you had one job! <laughs> Main open hallway. Mm -hmm. Now, Viva had told us that Las that area Vegas. is well known for shadow phenomena. We have a laser grid set up up there that was sent to us by Mazzy, so special thanks to Mazzy for sending us that laser grid. And we're gonna see if we can capture one of those shadows or some solid moving anomaly that will pass through that laser grid. Over in the servants' quarters, we have a camera set up in the little short, confining, claustrophobic hallway mm. to see if we can hopefully capture proof of Casanova being there. And there is a mel meter at the end of that hallway. Yes. Up in the attic, there's a camera with a REM pod. 
and that's where Henrietta is known to play with those toys. Oh, mate, look at this! Look how freaky deaky that room is right there, mate. Hey, eh? you can't get more 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 freaky deaky than that. So hopefully Henrietta does something. Maybe Clarabelle will come out and do something. There's definitely going to be a shadow bastard that walks across, that just floats across there, mate. I can see it now just flowing like a white mist. <sighs> just passes by, mate. It's going to happen. Watch the space. The Anchorage Mansion is very haunted, and I am so excited to see what happens when this mansion is completely empty. Are you ready to leave, Dave? I'm ready to leave. Hit him with it. All right. We're leaving! We're leaving merch, make sure to grab it. What, 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 what? We're leaving? You just fucking got here, mate. Hang on a second, you're giving it away. History, now you're fucking off. ParanormalQuestMerch.com <laughs> On this abandonment session, we were gone for 63 minutes. And despite having cameras in the foremost haunted parts of the Anchorage nursing home, the only slight amount of action that occurred was on the second floor hallway with a laser grid. Mm. About 10 minutes after we left, a faint knock can be heard. Which probably isn't paranormal at all and is probably just general building noise. Then about 10 minutes later, the EDI plus meter detected a change in the air pressure and temperature. Huh? Oh. Mm. Throughout the whole time we were gone, no voices were captured, no shadow movement occurred, and none of our other pieces of equipment were triggered. This just shows how unpredictable the paranormal can be. Even in some of the most haunted locations, the level of occurrences can vary widely depending on the night. I like what they've done there. I, I really like that, that they've, they've left the place for a short time but long enough to see if there's anything natural that happens without them walking or, you know, their imagination going wild or anything like that. Literally just boom. Let's just see what happens with just cameras. Let's go. I like that. And who knows? Maybe they're just waiting for us to return to speak to us face to face. It's a beautiful right, building, ready? Man. Yes, so I officially have the SLS running for those of you new Super licky sexy. New to the channel or anyone that hasn't seen one of these before. It's a structure light sensor camera. Super licky and sexy, yeah. it uses yeah. infrared lasers that actually map the shapes of objects. So you, it doesn't actually see with an image sensor, but more like a shape sensor. And when it detects the shape of the human form, then it will map it with a stick figure mapping, and we found that there are some strange anomalies that occur, and we've had some very interesting stuff happen in the past. Mm. I will say as we walk downstairs, the action cam that's behind me probably picked it up, but this music box, we did hear it going off. Oh. Yes, we're gonna run on the ghost tube. We also have a millimeter the spirit pod, a rim pod, a music box, and a cat ball up here running just so we can cover all of our bases. Jeez, mate. Maximum equipment. If there's anyone up here, my name is Ryan and this is Dave back here behind me. We're here to learn your story about who you were and what happened in this house. Look! That's him. That's him right there, look. This beautiful mansion. Whether you were the owner of this house, a resident, or if you were a patient of the nursing home, we want to hear from you. We want to know about your life here in this building. Keep an eye on that super And in my sexy. hand, I have something that can actually take your portrait or your picture. If you stand in front of me, I said no. Oh, you don't have to. We're just asking. Oh. Whoa. Something show up. Yeah, literally very fast. It popped up on the on the left 
or on the right side over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. There, oh. Hello. Hi. Right here in this room. I was just getting right beside this room. I was <laughs> getting a very coming. strange vibe from this room here. Oh shit. Hello. Doing yoga. Can you bend down and touch that red light just outside the door? Maximum flexibility, please. It was weird because or, I caught... Or, or it's just sort of like somebody crouched over like... <sighs> oh. Moving that direction. Oh. Yeah. Is this Eliza? Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, mate. It was like reaching out with its foot trying to touch that REM pod. Really? Yeah. But nothing happened with it. Eliza, you have a beautiful home. Are there any children in here? Ooh, wow, I just felt like I walked through something, man. Really? Ooh. Yeah, like the I door? got hit with a crazy charge right here where the figure was standing. You've just been like, possessed, got, mate. Like I felt. It just was like heavy. I felt like I walked through something. Like, you know how when you walk through like a curtain or something? Mm-hmm. Are you right here beside me? It is cold right here too. Is it? Yeah. If you're standing there by Ryan, reach down. You won't understand. You, you won't understand? You understand. What will we you understand? You won't understand. I've never heard it say that. I promise we can try and understand. But you can reach down and touch that red light right there. Hiding. Oh. Hiding. Hiding. Where? Where are you hiding? It seems like someone is not comfortable with us being up here. When I asked them first to show themselves, it said, I said no. Then it said, you won't understand. Now it says hiding. Yeah. Who was that figure that we just saw in the picture, in the portrait, a little bit ago? Can you tell us your name? Are we playing hide-and-go-seek with you? Henrietta? Clarabelle? Oh, there you are back again. Yeah, you ain't hiding very well, are you? Right back in that doorway, dude. What? what? Oh, Hello? Yeah. Who is this? Is it the door, though? Is it the door or the doorway? I can't quite make out. Right where I felt. Like I walked through something. Yeah. If that's you. I think, is this the door, the doorway, like at the opening, and that's the door... That's gonna be the door, right? So is it picking up the wood slats Ooh, on the door? Can you please try and touch our device there on the ground? We left that there for you. You are funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, I haven't even cracked a joke yet, you wait. Are you a patient here at the Anchorage, the Christian Anchorage nursing home? Oh, flippily do our day, mate. We heard that, didn't we, Caspers? Listen. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, bollocks. Hang on. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. It was across the hall. Yeah, that's weird, man. Did you hear that? Yeah. It was across the hall. Man. Again, I felt like I get like hit with static right here in the doorway. What's that number on there? Is that a number? Really? Yeah. Whoa. Metallic sound. Oh, look at the state of that thing. As I walk by, I'm going to show you how, uh, how it works. I'm sure you've seen these before, but... Can you do that? Do it again! <gasps> Is 
there someone in this hallway right here in front of me? Mm. Shh, shh. Shh. Do not enter. Okay. Kick it down. Come here. Oh, yes. Go in. Go on. <laughs> go on. In there, mate. Where Show is us where you want us to go. We don't know where you are. Clearly the door that says don't go in. Clearly the door that says don't go in. Please, please, please go in there. Hello? Is this where you wanted us to go? Do you know Miss Viva? She let us in here. Dave, get in there, mate. Dave, get in the door that says don't go in. Clarabelle. Henrietta? Close it. Close it? Close it. Wow. What, the door? Okay. Ritual. Oh shit, we're gonna do a ritual now. All right, I closed the door. Can you try and push it back open? What the hell was that? He said he's heard humming at the beginning of the bloody video. It's right here on the stairs. What? What was that? Hey, that's... It's right Ooh. on the stairs. Casanova, we're going to come down there in a little bit with Viva. with Melissa, we heard that you're not very respectful to the ladies. And we want you, we want to learn about why that is. We want to know about why you treat women the way that you do. Well, cause he's probably not had any for fucking years, mate, hundreds of years. Let's take one more pass out through here. Okay. We also didn't go down into the, uh... Running. Running, 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 as as running. running. I'm not running. We're gonna be back, don't you worry. What? Oh, okay, that's them. Elderly. 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 Are you elderly? Were you a patient here at the Christian Anchorage nursing home? This would have been where all the patients were. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Did they take care of you here? Were you happy here? Shit, man. You know, I tell you what. We gotta to go to another level. We got this is gonna to go to another level. I know it is, mate. This is the slow beginning, but it's gonna pop off. I know. I know it is. We had a really interesting burst of activity right there at the beginning. Yeah. With whatever was going on with that room, but then it just like it seemed like whatever whoever was up here that was interested in us stopped interacting, but when we went over by the servants' quarters and stood at the top of the stairs, it seemed like someone was really, like, egging us to come down there. Mm. Yeah. Trying to tempt us and bait us to come down there. So what do you say we go collect Viva, grab the stuff for the Estes session, we go down there and see Casanova? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Come on! Let's give it a try. Yes. Yeah, I think this is the place where we're going to have maximum. Hang on. Uh. What? Yeah, that's what I'm on. Hello? Oh, shit in hell, mate. Rolling this is audio. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, that's fine. Viva Audio. 
Ooh. What in the world? Can you stand right in front of that for us so we know that it's you? If this is Casanova or whatever your name might be, we'd love to know your real name. Mm. Yep. I'll be right back. I got to go get the blindfold. Oh, I was going to go get it, but no, I got it. Here we All go, right. mate. Subscribe. I love Eye that. Eye patch going on. <laughs> or <laughs> blindfold going on, I mean. Eye say, patch. Why do you go for uh, eye patch? Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to see some ghosties around here. <laughs> okay, headphones going on. All right, so we are officially here and ready. Sorry that took so long for anyone that was watching us set up. Casanova or anyone else. But Dave over there, our friend in the corner, he has a box that we believe you can use to speak to us. And if you walk up to him and tell us what you want to tell him or answer our questions through him, he'll tell us what you say. And we brought Viva with us, of course. You know Las her. Vegas! Hi. Can you say hello back? I know there's a gentleman back here. Can you tell us what your name is? Oh, that, I heard something there. Wah, 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 Ta-da, or not us, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, do you like us being back here with you? Small child voice said, hi. <laughs> Sorry, mate. How, how did she say it? Said, hi. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, what, that's what I thought. One more time, though, mate. Hi. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. I thought I heard. Hi. <laughs> I thought I was hearing walking over there. I thought so too, and then I felt something back here too. That's why I looked back. Who's the child? Can you tell us your name? My name is Ryan, and that's Dave at, over there. <laughs> Remember me? What's my name? Say my name, bitch! Is Henrietta or Clarabelle back here? We want to talk to the guy who calls or is, is called Casanova. Can you tell us what your real name is? Your given name? Tell Dave. Us. What? Like a hissing? Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't do that headphone thing, mate. I, I would be, I, I can't understand a word that shit says. So to, to on the spot translate it, that must be tough as f. That's pretty creepy. It was either a hiss or it kind of sounded like he said, us. Well, ass. Anyway. What's your ass, you love? Know, I would never bring anybody here that would mean any harm to any of you. Dave and I are nice guys. I thought I felt like tug on my jacket. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why I reacted. Yeah. It felt like a little like, like, Huh. Just a teeny tiny one. Like a That's child fine. almost? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Mm. Thank you. Oh, right. Good luck. Let me just see that again. Wait, let's just... Uh, 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 uh. Thank you. Okay, to be fair, that did sound like good luck. <clears throat> Viva felt her jacket move. And if you look closely, you can see as she's standing still, the front of her jacket moves towards her body. 
It's too slight to know for sure. Oh, if yeah. If this is unexplainable. What do you think? But would she have felt that, though? Is this a natural movement of the fabric? Or did we just capture her jacket being tugged? Let us know in the comments below. She would She would have felt that. No, no effing way she would have felt that. I want to go up there so bad. Do you want to? I do. Yeah. Honestly. We can just walk by the... Okay. Yeah, let's ramble with it. She's rambling it. Go on, love. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? So we decided that we are... Wait. Music box is still going off. They're following you, mate. Much clearer than that. Following you. You can follow us. We left Dave down there by himself. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> Whoa. It's still going off. Yeah. Mate, those trousers remind me of you know when people get in the um in the cannon in the cannons and they fire themselves off. <laughs> those trousers remind me of them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, actually. We're, we should be thanking yeah. you. Yeah. Yep, it's still going off. Thank you. Do you like the music? Did you just want to make space so you can play with the toy? Why is the floor vibrating? What? What? Yes, what I said, the floor's love. vibrating. We're standing still yeah. all the way up on the other side. Are you walking near Dave? Ooh. You can tap him on the shoulder if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Dave's like, fuck off. Are you guys jumping or scooting something? No, we're no. standing still all the way up here. We're at the top of the landing. Huh. Oh, shit, mate. You hear that? Mate, that was 100% Sarah. 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 I like it how he imitates. <laughs> Sarah. Again. Oh, I just heard it again. After Eliza. Oh. <sighs> She's what? the one that sold the house. She sold the house, yeah. Oh! For cheap as fuck, mate. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh! Dave, you good? You all right, Dave? Oh. I told you, mate. Watch it. It'll get oh, your ass. Oh, just got like really cold here. Beside, mate, I felt somebody standing there. Oh, That's okay. Don't I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay? It's your ass, Mr. Postman. It's your ass. Are you mad at, wow. Are you mad at Sarah for selling the house? Wow, I'm feeling like cold air and movement on both sides of me. That was Dave setting that off with the movement. Are you okay, Dave? Do you need to come out? Can't hear me. Can't hear you. Jesus. You're having fun now. Yeah. <laughs> I heard something whisper Sarah, and then I whispered Sarah, and then I heard it even clearer. Do you like Dave? This is wild. Oh, there it goes. Yes! Yes! What did you ask it? Huh? What did you ask it? I said, do you like Dave? Ooh, that's got me shaking a little bit. <laughs> oh, he's got the chicken, mate. He's got the chicken. Sarah, are you here or is this someone that is wanting to talk to Sarah? I can't be sure, but I thought I heard something say friends. Friends? Yeah. Yeah? We're your friends. You know that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, friends. Or are you friends with Sarah? and you want to talk to her. 
That thing's yeah. weird, man. Thank you. Can you stand right in front of it? What was so that tapping? Playing the music for whole. It was warm down here a little bit ago. Three. Yeah, it's like cold all right here. I got goosebumps. And I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell Dave your name? Oh, Ooh. mate. It's so cold. Yeah. There's definitely someone here with us. Now, Casanova, I know I'm not... Mate, I would be sitting by that window, mate, and just like, get lifted up and thrown out there. Although I would probably just, you know, break fall. Yeah? Break fall. Slap your hands on the on the ground. You break your fall. And just roll out a commando. Roll out of it, you know? Ramboed it. Usually, the type of lady that you go for... But can you come up to me and say hello? But Viva, mm -hmm. notice how since we came down here, it stopped. Yeah. You want to go back up there yeah. and see if it, it yeah. picks up again? Yeah, you know, good idea, alone. mate. Yeah. I'm going by the music box again. Dave's alone down there again now. Oh. What you want? We completely left him alone again. I don't think I've ever heard Dave react that strongly. Mm. Yeah, he was like straight up spooked. Yeah. Oh. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like walking around or something. Do it, mate. Yeah. Walk right up to Dave and do what you did again to him. Fun of him. What? No. Again to him. It said front of or something. Front. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> Ryan's just like. <right. laughs> front of Dave. I know I told you that you could tap him on the shoulder. We didn't know he'd react that strongly. I know. You made it very cold down there, too. That music box is going... It's going nuts. Crazy. And what's weird is we went down there and it pretty much... I mean, besides a few blips here and there, it stayed silent. Yeah. Now it's like constant. Yeah, trust. Can you tell us who it is that's playing all these pranks? Trust. Just. I don't know. I couldn't hear. Can you tell us your name? Who's playing all these pranks and tricks on us? Oh, they're not pranks. They're not tricks. Trust us. Trust me. In front of you again. Can you tell Dave my name? Yes. Get out, mate. Brilliant, bloody brilliant film as well. Watch it. Well, then what is it? <laughs> <laughs> then what's my name? Mate, if he says her name. Let's play a fun game. I want to see if you can see us. So can you tell Dave... How many fingers I'm holding up right now? All right, I'm going to take these off. <laughs> Bollocks, that was going to be a really good idea. Never mind. <laughs> Are you all right, man? Uh, yeah, I am now. We're coming back down. Did you feel the vibration and the walking any other time besides the points that you... Yeah, had mentioned. No. Because we straight up were just standing at the top of the landing. You were like... The floor is vibrating, and we were not moving at all. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. The f I, it just felt like, I don't know, just like a, uh, like a high vibration. I could feel it. Mm. That's wild. And it got freezing cold back here. It did. And the thing is, once you, like, freaked out, we came back down here mm -hmm. for a minute, 
and we stood in the hallway here with you and the voices stopped coming through and then we went back up to the landing and then you started to hear stuff again. Really? Yeah. Yep. yep. I'd love to see on camera if anything was captured Yeah. when that moment happened, right when you felt that really strong presence and I'm excited to oh, hear. Oh yes. The audio for that, I would love, I cannot wait. That was, it was so weird because it was like, and then I think I, I, I think you I said, said it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I heard said Sarah, it again. and then I heard, it was clear. I was like Sarah, and then yeah, I, just, we oh, heard no, it, I mate. just felt this weird energy, presence, energy, something like get real close. It got real cold, and then I felt it from this side, and then after that, I, nothing. With that description in mind. I reviewed the footage when Dave felt the presence beside him. Okay. Specifically the Mel meter. Now its REM function never triggered, but I tried my best to enhance the screen of the EMF and temperature readout and discovered something shocking. What? Though the numbers are hard to read, I noticed seconds before Dave freaked out, the EMF started to spike. And when I froze it right here, you can just make out 6.0 milligauss. Then seconds later, Dave jumped up. Oh! 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 oh f- Dave, you good? You all right, Dave? Oh! Shit! Oh, it just got like really cold here. Oh, good spot, mate. Good spot. What are the chances that in this moment the electromagnetic frequency in the air jumps up six milligauss? Right when Dave feels this intimidating I can see it better on OBS on this side on this screen. Dating presence. And did we just capture proof that these unseeable forces carry an electrical charge? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Dave, you good? You alright, Dave? Oh. Oh, it just got like really cold here. Beside me, I felt somebody standing there. It was very good. That was a very interesting session. Mm-hmm. And for anyone that's up here, you know, you can see Dave again here in just a few minutes and he's going to be alone. <laughs> he's like, well, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so. How are you now? <laughs> if you want to follow him down to the first floor and hang out with him down there, he'll be alone down there. Or if you'd rather follow. Dave's like the crash test dummy of this channel. <laughs> so me, I'm going to be alone in the attic. Oh. So, be fun. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Mate, look how sketchy that looks up the top there. <coughs> look at these, fu- look at these, mate. Straight from hell. All right, everybody. So this is the goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> this is your Why farewell, you mate. Because this is the I last card here. The last ghost hunt you'll ever do. Sorry. That's that's <laughs> okay. That's all right. What is your name? Can you tell me your name? If it says Henrietta, may I run? Uh. Huh. I just turned on the Oculus. Oh my. And it said error. Murder. Error murder. There and see what happens. Look at the state of this place. Let me huh? Go ahead and flip this on. Look at the state of this. Flip that on. Holy shit! <sighs> hey, this is where the shadow bastard and the ring bitch make out and have some sort of demon love child. Okay, and and keep it in this bloody attic. This is this is purely the the scene for something like that. Ryan is up in the attic doing his solo, and I'm down here on the. That's first what she floor. said. <laughs> plenty of space in between us, so we're not gonna um, cause any contamination or anything like that between each other. I want it. You want what? What do you want? I want it all, and I want it now. Sam. Oh, shh. 
What the hell? Yeah, get out! Run! Stab kill? <laughs> what the shit? I told you, mate. It says, so, so far up here, it said murder, stab, kill. Yeah, isn't that a good, good sign to get the F out? I'm just now setting up and I haven't even gotten anything. Wrong. Kill Bill. What? Kill Bill. Good I film. put this device here on the couch. <laughs> Everything that could come out of that thing. Kill, stab, murder. He's like, okay, I'm just going to put this here. You can have that if you want that. All you have to do is try and pick it up and it'll let me know you're here. And I also set one of my devices over here on the desk. So you can try picking that one up too. Okay, so I'm rolling up here in the attic. I'm just getting ready to start my solo. Dave's down on the first floor doing a solo as well. And we are gonna see what happens. Mate, that There's a place. lot of stories about Henrietta. I hope that was Dave. I was just gonna say, isn't that Dave? So if you'd like to try that, you're more than welcome. I brought those things here for you. The sound was not Dave. At this moment, he was quietly standing in the foyer, asking questions. I just thought, who the hell's voice is that? But none of his microphones heard this sound. It almost resembles someone at the bottom of the attic stairs, moving around. And we are going to see what happens. There's a lot of stories about Henrietta. I hope that was Dave. Mm. Shot. Mate, sh shot, kill, stab, murder, and he's up there doing a the bloody solo, mate. Shot. Ever since I turned that ovulus on, it has said multiple words that are related to... Killing. Death. Whoa. No, the moment he said death, mate. What? What the hell? Oh, mate. Imagine just now this fucking shadow bastard's coming up behind him like now going... Oh, mate. Right here, look. Right here. Right here. My deadlight just died. Convenient. Deadlight. What the hell? Oh, it is a deadlight. Literally right as... Did you see that? Yep. Like, it just got... Like, the battery just sucked. Whoa. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Oh, shit, man. The IR light on top of my camera just out of nowhere just completely, like, flashed and shut off. Oh, mate, we are going to see a shadow bastard in a minute. Here. What the? This is straight from a Hollywood movie. Doing this weird flashing thing. Let me turn this off. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to go like this for right now. This is just gonna have to be a... Oh my god. I have to use this one. Anybody from the Putnam family? I see your portraits on the wall. They're very nice. Some. Some yeah, of you. Some of them, yeah. I really like your house here. This is one of the most beautiful houses that I've ever seen. Do you agree? I mean, I'm sure you do. It's your house, right? And this is probably my favorite room in this house. Which room is your favorite? The bedroom. Bedroom. 
<laughs> yes, mate. The bedroom. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Which bedroom? The double bed. Is there anyone here? Henrietta. Mate, there I is a some pentagram in that bloody room. And some toys for you to play with. And I'd love for you to come out here and talk to me. Clara Bell, if you're up here. Or anyone, really, that wants to come out here and communicate. That box right there kept saying words that led me to believe. <laughs> Ryan's upstairs doing a solo with toys. I believe that someone had their life taken. November. That someone had their life taken from them. Is that true? If that's true, can you touch that red light right over here or this green one here? Touch it! Lick it! Do you remember me coming here several years ago? Are you in... Are you in here? I'm eternal. I'm eternal. I kind of think we're all eternal, maybe. Mm. Maybe not, I don't know, actually. But I love your house here. It's can you hear it? Can I hear what? Sound what am I listening for? Of silence. Can you tell me, what am I listening for? What? Shush, shush, listen. There, listen, again. I think I just heard something that they didn't hear. Whoa. Something just moved over here. Oh shit in hell. Oh fuck. Quick. Let me see if this works now. Oh, look at the state of this, mate. Oh. What? 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 Demand. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off again. Oh, wow, mate. This thing's going off on a shot again. Place. It just said shot. Why is it going off like, a, a, like on another level right now? Again. Cards. Cards. Am I speaking to someone? who had their life taken from them. The sun is about to come up here in a little bit. Jesus. Very soon, I was hoping that you would come out and talk to me before I have to go. Can you see this device here? Look. Do you hear that and see all those colors there? Can you try and touch that for me so I can see it? Rolling EVP session. This is the attic of the Anchorage Mansion. Oh, my. You're going to hear something. Attitude. Oh, my. Was someone attacked or hurt in this house or near this house? Follow map. What? Follow map. Man, that shadow behind him is freaking me out. What kind of map should I follow? Henrietta. Can you come up to this light in my hand and speak to me? What's your story? How did you end up here at the Anchorage? I heard a tap then. Rolling EVP session. This is the attic of the. Here we go. Here, shush, shush, shush. Here we go. Was someone attacked or hurt in this house or near this house? 
Wait. I heard it. <sighs> First question. In this house or near this house? Do you hear that? Yeah. In this house or near this house? He's like, <sighs> I hear a very clear whispering voice there. Yep. I'm gonna have to review that and see if I can figure out what it says, but that was the first question and I already hear a voice. Let me mm, listen I knew this was gonna happen, mate. I knew it. In this house or near this house? Are you happy that your house is still here and serving a purpose? Annoying. I'm sorry that I'm annoying. <laughs> it is very late or very early, however you look at it. And I'm sure that uh, I am annoying you, and I'm sorry about that. But if you would like me to just leave and leave you alone and to stop being annoying, could you let me know somehow? Or no energy. No energy. No energy. You don't have any energy? I don't either. That's why I'm sitting down. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. Are you? Right, by the way, if you're hearing that banging, that's my missus with the mortar and pestle. Like, do, doing the herbs and stuff. Let's like, take an aggression out on the... <laughs> Are you trapped? You just said trapped. I would hope you're not trapped because this is a beautiful house. I mean, this is a beautiful place, but if you yeah, want to leave... Yeah, clearly, mate. Yeah, the attic looks beautiful. You don't have to stay here. For the last 12 minutes of this session, it seems the strange activity has vanished. Perhaps the response that Dave got in the parlor is true. And they just have... Or, no energy. No energy. You don't have any energy? After this investigation, we discovered the IR light on my cam that was freaky. camera simply had a loose component. And we had to send it back to the manufacturer to be Oh, ready. man! Oh, gutted. But I'm glad he sort of like debunked that. It was a loose connection. Okay. Paired. So this was not paranormal. Just creepy timing. Mm. Death. Well, Bang on the, the, the time where he says death. Like, what? What the hell? See, he could have, like, fair shout to him because he could have just let that ride. He'd be like, okay, well, we'll just let that slide because it was perfect. I said death and it started to flicker, right? And my reactions was, like, legit. So let's just leave it. You know, and fair shout, he didn't. He said, look, actually, really, it was just a loose connection. Brilliant. Respect. Debunked. <laughs> so with the sunrise approaching, our night here at the Anchorage has all but come to an end. This place was a huge part of the beginnings of Paranormal Quest, and it will always hold a special place in our hearts. So if you ever find yourself in Marietta, Ohio, be sure. To visit. You can find more information about Hidden Marietta at she was great too. hiddenmarietta.com. There you go, mate. Paranormal Quest. Legitimately amazing. Well done, guys. Well done. Maximum respect for you guys. Anyway, if you did like the reaction to the video, please leave a little like, subscribe, and do the thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. the merch at caspersite.com. Just Rambo it.